Mark. He's back visiting. Uh, it's always a pleasure. He's got a story. So I think by a third or fourth post, he'll get to sit down and tell a little bit about his story. Come to visit Stan. By way of Stan, he enjoys coming to see us as well. Stan, as you know, is consistent. He's here every Thursday. And he goes ready to go. Now, Mark is trying to learn about doing some bite work and dealing with um, confident dogs. Now, challenge is, is he's just getting into it. Man, the dog on trash people. All this dog on noise. I just told you, Mark, today, I said, man, I ain't even seen these trash folks ever. All of a sudden, here they come showing up. Good. If you ask, they shall come. I'm trying to That's tell you, now I can't even hear myself think they so loud. That's so for real. So at any Normally, as we've said before, we start with burlap sacks, then we get to the bike pillows, then we get to the bike sleeves, and then we try to work the dogs to the bike suit. Early on, I rotate a lot of toys, but if you are nervous or you lack confidence, you go run into some issues. Now, the beauty about a dog like Ego, he's super precise and he's safe to learn with even at his size. <laughs> so Stan's going to walk Mark through how to take a bite from a bike pillow and because practice makes perfect. And Mark, how many times have you worked with other dogs on bike pillows? Five times. <laughs> That's not a lot, people. And we back here sometimes five days a week. <laughs> <laughs> we work five dogs in a day. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'd be like this. Go let so-and-so out. I'd be like, and after I'll get with Ty, I'd be like, Jamarcus, get you some. Get, get you some. Because <laughs> it's, look, they got to keep going. They got to keep going. Hey, shit, y'all had five Tell dogs out at one time, that one, uh, Jamarcus. Now, it was all seven, right? That's oh, the point. Man, yep. That's the point. So we, we sometimes be like, you just let them have their have they fun. <laughs> So at any who we're about to see uh Stan's about to teach him what to uh how to operate the pillow with the wire. This is the live wire right here. Let's go Stan. Get up right, there, so Stan. First off, you want to make sure you're not working on stuff like this, because right. if you do this, you can die. <laughs> so if you'll come over here, get a nice little area. Then you want to make sure the handler has a good handle on the leash and it's not going anywhere, right? So Trevor is a very big fella, so you don't have to worry about him. <laughs> you don't have to worry about him falling. Yeah. <laughs> no, almost really. slipped by my butt. So then, you see where he's gonna be at. I like to come in and test him. Boom, boom. Think about a half circle. Right here. And then, dog wants to come up for the bite. You don't want to go to him, stuff it down. You want him to come and get it. He hasn't bit like we won't want, so we're gonna go flat. Boom. You see that? Pause. Yep. When you pause, heal, boom, and then you fight. Up and down, you can kick, constant. You want to be flexing while you're working them. When you want them to bite in, relax. Yes, sir, good. And grab the handle, you can pat them. Good boys, good boy. When you're working them, you want to watch their eyes. If you go to put your hand on there and you see them start looking at your hand, you might want to pull your hand off, but watch his eyes. He's focused right on that bite pillow. He's worried about this. So you can do all of this stuff here and not worry about him coming off. These dogs, you can grab their tails, their legs, their back legs, their balls. They're not moving, but. And then when you're doing any of this, when he bites in, boom, you relieve the pressure. Okay. So it teaches the dog that somebody's grabbing you, bite harder, they'll let go. Got it. And then you let him win. Clear as mud, right? Clear as mud. <laughs> Main thing is, take your time. Don't try to move faster than the dog. Okay. Be precise. If you try to move faster than him, you're gonna get bit. Okay. And getting bit hurts. That's right. So, precise, pull it out, pull it back. And you don't wanna arch it here. You'll get, you can pull your shoulder out. Okay. Cause a lot of things can go wrong. Going in, right back out. Okay. Got it. What are you doing? <laughs> Again, he'll come, he'll tell him his alert command. Work, work. Wait for a bark. Younger bark. He's not a yappy dog. Nice. Since it's hot outside, we'll just work real quick. But make a mess a couple times. And when you get open his mouth, okay. put it in there. Alright, so start over. You're already too stiff. Too stiff. Yeah, back up. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Relax a little. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you're about to get big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So back up. Back up. <laughs> Your front foot should be behind you like 
Yeah. Oh, foot boy, you in the wrong pivot. That's a kneecap. Okay. And then, so you're moving, you're, sh you're going slow, and you're like, and you're moving it at the last second, you're gonna get your hand bit. Okay. So it's, you don't wanna go slow, cause they can grab that. Mm -hmm. And if you're going slow, and then you move up quick. Hey, you passing out already, you go? Yeah, all that. Here you go, let's go. You put him on for me. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> you already can't breathe, fool. <laughs> So I wanna work here. You'd rather die. You clearly can't breathe. <laughs> Got that drive, boy. Don't pull down, you go. Do you have a harness by any chance? Who? Harness? Yeah, we'd have to like. You know what I'm saying? Uh you got no. that I, I know we got some next dog vests. It's gonna be easier to pull on. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go grab that. Uh, it's gonna be easier for him to uh breathe. Mm-hmm. So, so the yeah. footwork. So, yeah, you make you want to make sure that your your leg is in here and bite pillow okay, is there. Okay, because gotcha. Not a dog like Ego, but a dog like Rocco, Oakley, Juice. They'll grab what they can. Gotcha. And if, if you're frustrating them, they may say, mm. okay. "Grab your thigh or your ankle." Yeah. Uh, that's better, but no. Um, all right, so I'm dog. Try okay. to make me miss. There you go. And then you want to be close enough that he thinks he can get it, mm -hmm. but you're not close enough that he can get it. Yeah. It's literally a game of inches. You're playing with that. Yes. So when I'm in, you go before. That's better. Okay. And then run away, mix it up. Okay. Because if you do the same thing three times with a dog, likely on that third time, they're going to get it. Okay. So if you come in, you make a miss, a miss, you make a miss on that third one, he's like timing it, I'm going here. Okay. So mix it up, be creative. Right. Don't be so stiff. Relax. And like. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so relax a little bit, relax. All right, all right. Let him bite in. So grab the middle hand. Whenever you go to whenever you go to pet them or anything, yep. you want to make sure you're keeping back tension on it. Okay. So let go of that. Yep. Now you can reach down. Okay. You see the difference? Yep. Because if he thinks he can gain, yeah. he will. Okay. And if it's not enough bite, he'll go somewhere else. Okay. So freeze up, let him bite again. Grab you can grab it on both sides. Okay. Bite. Oh boy. And then you can pull, pick him up your body. So slow, pick him up. There you go. There you go. Now freeze. Okay, there you go. There you go. And then let him win. Just let go. Boom. That's a good boy, Trunks. That's a good boy. I saw you. Dad, did you see me? Dad, did you see me? So I had a habit of putting my leg out just because I'm working. Drop, drop, grabbing that leg, you know. So I, you want me to get rid of that? No, it's fine. You can okay. mix it up. It just okay. depends on the dog. They're not as like possessive like the shepherds are. Okay. Okay. So, come here. out. That's a big boy. So now we're gonna see if you can make him miss a couple. Let's no. Make him miss a couple. Ah. Stay. Do that one. <laughs> He's gonna get bit. I mean, he wanted to try him yeah, again. Try it. It'll okay. be good content. Ah. Watch your step. Hey, drop it. Good. Try it. Drop it. Out. Out. Oh boy. All right. All right. So, you ever watch like a bullfighter? Yeah. Ole! Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Okay. This is a bully fighter. Okay. So immediately make a miss. So as much as you can. Okay. Yep. You want to try to step back. Woo! Watch yeah, watch the hands. <laughs> Let him get a bite. Let him rebite. So bigger dogs, you don't want to make sure they're biting with that front amount of teeth, especially with all this weight behind them. Yeah. Pull the tooth out. Okay. So before you pick them up, you want to make sure they set that bite. Okay. Come out. Out! Alright. So back up a little bit. No. Hey. All right. So go, go down there. All right. 
You ready? Work! I'm a quick big boy. Yeah. He moved his body, but kept the body pillow in the same spot. Hey, look, yeah, your body moved, elbow and hand gone. Out! Alright, All right, so you want to move the bite pillow, not necessarily your body. Okay. So I have the bite pillow over here, and at the same time. No. Hey, try. Cut it out. Okay. Damn, put that hot. It ain't. You don't even know where it's at. Hey, you're fine, you're fine. It's hot out here. You're fine. Yeah, it is, bro. You do one, one more? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Work. Oh, yeah. Oh. Be careful, Ooh. boy. He yeah. gets hands. <laughs> You probably ain't no civil dog. <laughs> no, I'm, he gets hands for it, look. I got, I got myself bit one of them times. Listen guys, this is the process of doing this. What I love about this, this is a very honest moment here where you get to see someone who uh, is trying to learn. Learning's always, I think, the fun for me and Stan because we get to see people go through their process of trying not to get bit while wanting the dog to bite. Uh, and then you might accidentally get bit because I didn't get bit a few times. Here's the thing, it is hot in Texas, but it's not steaming right now. But like he said, a harness would definitely provide a little bit more safety. But I've still seen them on a harness in these temperatures. You're like, uh oh, they get a little woozy. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Mark. Yes, sir. How was that? That was great. <laughs> it was great because I didn't do it perfect. Yeah. And now I got things to work on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. And do you do this with your dog? You, you get yeah, my dog, dog yeah. Let's see? Yeah. So you gotta be careful about hand placement, knee placement, all that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Think about where you hit. You play sports? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Remember the ball's always in your hands. You're you right. Control yeah. everything, bro. Yeah. Stay tuned, people. Take care of your That's dogs. Now we'll talk soon. Yeah.